<laughs> no, we haven't, honestly. Yeah, we As such, this is uh, your area car driver, WPC Vicky Hagen. She's very nice. Do you mean uh, just very nice or she's very, very nice? I am desperate for a really good man oh. to help me with my six kids. Ah. I knew there was something iffy about her. Yeah, Vicky Hagen is trouble. She's a squealer and we don't want her here. Well, I'm not starting up a hate campaign against her. You've already got most of the Nick wondering whether they're going to be able to trust her or not. You know we've been teamed up, don't you? It's going to be fun, isn't it? See you tomorrow. Is Dave Quillen in yet? No, I haven't seen him. And he's going to lend me his mobile. See you in there. Polly, what's Mike Jarvis been saying about me? Nothing, really. All right. Mike. There you go. Cheers. Don't call Australia, will you? Just need to make a couple of local calls, that's all, mate. Good afternoon. Sorry. Right, we'll go through today's postings. There's only one or two changes. But before I do that, for those of you who haven't met her yet, I'd like to introduce a new member of our relief. Vicky Hagen. She's going to be in the area car. Vicky joins us from White Bank after, what is it, five years service, Vicky? Apologies to those of you who thought that you might be getting an area car course. But I'm sure Vicky's going to be a welcome addition to the team. Right, so, uh, Mike, you and Vicky in Sierra One. Vicky driving. <laughs> Sarge? Today's tasking problems remain pretty well the same. Motor vehicle crime on the Nether Lake on the up and up. So when you're not dealing with calls... <laughs> Sarge. Mike. Sarge, why has Vicky Hagen got a drive? Because she's new and she needs to learn the ground. But she can do that as operator. But she'll learn it quicker if she drives the routes herself. And you've been going around telling everyone that she got your mate kicked out of the Met. This will give her a chance to put her side of the story. And Mike, make sure she gets a fair hearing. Mike? We ready? I'll be out in a minute. The yard's that way. Yeah, she can wait. <laughs> Mike. You all right? Well, I could do without being driven around by Vicky Hagen, yeah. And that's all that's bugging you, is it? Nothing to do with these calls you need to make. Yeah, I might as well tell you. I'm waiting to hear back from diplomatic protection. Why? Well, I'm putting for a permanent transfer. But I was going to tell you before, but you altered a Mickey so much on attachment, I was going to wait till I knew for sure. So you'll be leaving then? Well, I haven't heard back from him yet, but I thought I'd get their number and give him a ring. Well, I knew there was something on your mind. Hey, uh, keep it between ourselves, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Polly! Yeah? Have you seen Mike? No. How long have you been waiting? Fifteen minutes? There he is. Where have you been? I had to go to the CJU to sign a few witness statements. Fifteen minutes to sign a few statements. All right, there's a steering wheel. We're going to talk whether you like it or not. When you come out of the station, take a right. And all end in tears. All right, take a left onto Dishman Street. So you're going to be giving me directions all shift, are you? I'm not having it, Mike. I came to Sunhill to get away from this kind of thing. I was getting on so well with everyone when I came in yesterday. I thought this was a team I'd really like to join. But now they're all looking at me as if I've got the plague and all because of what you've been saying about me. Hey, just forget about it, all right? It's no big deal. I did not get your mate kicked out of the job. He assaulted a prisoner. He did it to himself. 
What's going on? It's the alternator. I'm sorry. I'd only been driving five minutes and it cut out on me. I think it's the alternator. God knows what it's going to cost. Well, we're going to have to get it off the road. It's causing an obstruction. There's another parking space up there. You get in, we'll push. Yeah, tell him it's Mike Jarvis. Shall I give you the number? Mike? Yeah, it's 0831. I've taken the handbrake off. All units from Sierra Oscar, 3434 Bevan House on the Maycroft Estate, a disturbance. Any unit deal? Sierra Oscar from 361 receiving. Go ahead, Vicky. We've just been through the Maycroft Estate, Sarge. Sorry. Stand by, Sarge. Are you okay? Sorry, I was a bit worried I was going to run into something. We're nearly there. Sierra Oscar from 361. Receiving. Show us dealing at Maycroft. Over. Receive. <sighs> they haven't killed each other yet, then. Disturbance on the Maycroft. Thanks for helping me back there. It was downhill, wasn't it? Why are we going to the Maycroft? That's Narika's patches on foot patrol. She must have been tied up. Sierra's good for 517. Receiving. Over. Go ahead, Mike. You've got an informant for the call to 9 Bevan House, over. I miss Jeannie Young, the occupier, over. Received. Do you know her? Yeah, she's an addict. Had her son taken into care last year. Ended up trying to top herself. Hello? What are you doing here? We had a call. Can we speak to Jeannie, please? What? Did you call the police? Did you? Come on. It's got nothing to do with it! bitch! Oh, yeah, yeah, it's enough. Just hold it. Jeannie, what's going on? Well, you just wait there when I find out what happened, all right? He didn't do anything. It's him they're after. Well, so why'd you call us? Mike. Jed! We haven't let him go of you. I thought you said he didn't do anything. If they get a hold of him again, they're going to kill him. If you don't tell us what's going on, Jeannie, we're just going to have to leave. Who wants to kill him? He owes his supplier some money. They said that if he doesn't pay them two grand by tonight, then he's going to top the both of us. Tell us who they are. We'll make sure they don't. Do you know where they live? I can't tell you that. What about names? Jeannie, you called us. You obviously want us to help. There's two of them. Yeah, hello? Yeah, 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 it's Mike Jarvis speaking. I, I thought you said he's Look, back. I'm sorry, if I tell you anything, I'm just going to get into worse trouble. Right, so you definitely think he'll be back by five, yeah? Yeah, lovely. Right, yeah, thanks a lot, mate. Bye. What is going on? Finished playing social worker, have you? You don't leave your partner doing a domestic. I might have needed you as a witness. She could have said anything. Look, I had to take a call, all right? It was important. A lot more important than talking to some space that little slag trying to keep her boyfriend in crack, all right? What is it that's bugging you? Nothing. Come on, Mike, have you got something to say? Look, just cut the chat, yeah? Get in the car and drive. That's what you're supposed to be good at, isn't it? All units from Sierra Oscar. 41 Nelfield Road. A burglary. Oscar from 988. Show us dealing. Oscar from Sierra 1. Show us assisting. Over. Left. Is Nelfield Road near the Maycroft? Yeah. Maybe Jeannie was right. Hey? What are you talking about? If you'd stayed in her flat, you'd know. A boyfriend owes money and she's scared he's gone out to nick it. First on the left, yeah? Yeah. This is it. 32, 34, 36. It's love! Let's go from Nana 8. Suspect making off from Nailfield Road in Red Golf. Lima 282 Golf Hotel X-ray. Suspect 91 male in black jeans and red jacket. That's him. 
but following suspect vehicle along Atco Street. Watch out! Right, you can pick up the high street that way. But there could still be roadworks. Yeah, there could be roadworks. Hey, go back! Too late! Told you. Right, come on, turn round. Turn round! What do you think I'm doing? Right, try the next left. It's a cul-de-sac. Why didn't you wait for the lorry? Because you pointed out an alternative route. I said there'd be roadworks. You said there could be. Now, which way? I'll be miles away by now. Sierra One from Sierra Oscar. Situation report, over. You don't know this ground, you heard what I said and you just carried on. Well, you should be happy about it. You've probably been waiting for me to slip up all day. Now, come on, which way? Sierra One from Sierra Oscar. Situation report, over. Ah, oh, the stupid cow's gone and lost him, Sarge. What? What did he call her? Cheers, mate. 517 from 92, are you receiving? 517 from 92, are you receiving? Go ahead, Sarge. As soon as you get back here, I want to see you and Vicky in my office. Is that understood? Received. Anything we can do for you, Gary? No, 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 Sarge. Hey, in there? Yeah. So he actually called her a stupid cow. Oh, on air. I think the entire division heard. There are always going to be officers that don't get on. But you don't go insulting each other over the radio. And what's this hostility based on? The claim that your mate was kicked out of the Met because Vicky alleged he hit a prisoner. I didn't make the allegation. I just backed it up. Come on, then. What did your mate tell you about Vicky? All right. What did he tell you about the incident that got him into this trouble? That he struck out in self-defence. Against a prisoner that was handcuffed. Didn't he tell you the prisoner was cuffed? All right, you tell us what happened. It's all right, Sarge. No, 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 no. Come on. Then at least one of us will learn something. I arrested a youth for causing a disturbance in a pub. There were two youths fighting over a girl. One of them had got away, the other had been apprehended by the landlord. The situation was under control until your mate, Pete Dunlop, showed up and butted in. Why? Because the pub was his local and he wanted to impress the landlord. So he wasn't too pleased to see a stupid cow having a friendly chat with the suspect. So how well do you know this, Pete Dunlop? I used to see him every now and then at Area 3 Sports Club. Now and then? So he's more of an acquaintance than a best mate. All right, Vicky. Thanks. What is wrong with you? I know, Sarge. I was totally out of order. I'm sorry. Well, why didn't you tell her that? Let's be perfectly honest with you, Sarge. I've been a bit uptight the last couple of days. All right, so tell me, what's wrong? I've been waiting to hear about the transfer to the DPG. I've been trying to ring a skipper, I know there, but I can't get hold of him. I don't know what's going on. Well, you've just got to be patient. And quite frankly, Mike, the only reason that you're not going to go to DPG is if I tell them that your conduct here has been totally unacceptable. Well, DPG means a lot to me, Sarge. And Sun Hill means a lot to her. She's only here because your best mate made her life unbearable at the previous Nick. She's already had to put up with one bully. Vicky, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said a lot of things. I don't care what Mike Jarvis thinks about her. He was out of order. Yeah, but if she ignored his instructions during the pursuit... It's her first day, Gary. You don't call her something like that over the radio. Not unless you want to set the Met back 30 years. You've called me names before. Who has? You have. You've called me some right choice things. What, over the radio? Yeah. Well, I probably deserved it. I don't think so. I'll never forget the time Dave Quinnon humiliated me in front of everyone. Very embarrassing, it was. All I'd done is picked him up on proper radio procedure. What did he say? Well, 
he called in and he said, Wait, were you born a prat or did you take lessons? Everyone heard it. Well, that's only Dave being stupid. Everyone knows you were born like it. <laughs> Yeah. Mickey, you want to join us? Come on. Here you go. Thanks. So, um, it's true then, is it? About you and Mike getting engaged. Look, Vicky... I don't want an apology, OK? Who's apologising? I just wanted to say you were right. Pete Dunlop didn't tell me that the prisoner he hit was handcuffed. Not only cuffed, but 14 years old. 14? Why didn't you say that in front of Sergeant Cryer? I didn't want you to look an even bigger fool. Can you stand back, please? Sir, Thanks, excuse Lord. me. Thank you. Please. You OK, love? We've called an ambulance. He was waiting for me at the cash point. We just grabbed him. What was he wearing? Did you get a good look at him? Uh, no. He had black jeans, red jacket. As soon as he grabbed the money, he ran off. In which direction? Shopping centre. But could you just wait with her till the ambulance comes in? All right. George? Yes. Who is it? Jeannie, it's WPC Hagen. What do you want? We need to find Jed. He's already done a burglary and a street robbery. You better come in. Mike, make sure your mobile's switched off, will you? So, has he hurt anyone? He attacked a woman at a cash point, hit her head against a wall. So, where's he going to go with the money? Can't tell you that. Well, can you give us some names? Look, Jeannie, you want your little boy back from social services, don't you? What chance have you got if you stay involved with Jed? I'm not involved with Jed! That's not the point, is it? He's here. Oh, he's living here. As far as your social worker's concerned, the kid's still at risk. Oh, so why don't you tell us where he's going to pay the money? Just... <sighs> you just grabbed me. Yeah, all right. Can you just give me a quick description? Um, well, we had a scar on his cheek and he had brown hair and... There he is! I'll take it. Stop, please! Oscar from 218, three bag snatches. Now chasing suspect in Waterman Shopping Centre. You've got another two bag snatches coming through, Sarge. Where from? The Watermans again. What's he trying to do? Get in a Guinness Book of Records? Hey! Sarah Oscar from 218! Suspect last seen heading towards the Canley Street exit. Sounds like Jed's in the Waterman shopping centre, grabbing what he can. Basket from 218. I've lost the suspect, Tyler. We've got to get him, Jeannie. Look, just tell us where he's going to go to pay the money. Y you don't have to mention any names. He's going to know it's come from me. OK, look, we'll keep your name out of it. And you reckon this is going to help me get my little boy back? It's not going to hurt. The dealer's hung out in a calf in Elverton Road. That's all I can tell you. What time has he got to pay them? By six. Where are they? I don't know, Sarge. Have you seen Vicky and Mike? Just grabbing a quick tea, Sarge. But I thought we had to be there before six. Vicky Aker's probably walked out. Yeah, I can't say I blame her. Well, well, having a good shift? Right. As everyone knows, what we're going to be doing is sitting up opposite the calf in Elverton Road. Now, we know, or at least we think we know, that Jed Peacock is not armed. What did you find out about the dealers? He's going to be meeting two of them. Apparently, they usually hang out around the back. Our informant wasn't giving away too much, but she did say they had knives when they threatened her. Is it just us, is it? Yeah, it looks like it. Did you get the impression they'd have guns? Jeannie Young would have said, you hope. All right, any questions? All right, let's go then. Oi, Mike. Yeah. I think she's bloody good. Aren't you worried they're going to blow their cover? Who? Mike and Vicky. Yeah, when they start strangling each other. 
He might have come and gone. What's making you more tense? Waiting for Jed or waiting for your phone call? I was listening to you outside Genie's flat. What time was it they said they'd call five? Yeah. I did an attachment with the Diplomatic Protection Group. I'm waiting to see if they're going to offer me a permanent place. Oh, well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Look, I know you don't want me to apologise. But you admit you've been worried sick about your transfer and you've been taking it out on me. That's him, isn't it? Five one seven from nine two. Go ahead. Target on site. Mike, you and Vicky go around the back. Dave, you and me, we'll go in first, so we can identify the suspect. Sarge. I'm gonna take it. Yeah. Hello? Get up! Get up! Give me your arm! Nice work, Mike. Vicky's arrest, not mine. Well, that looks nasty. You take it off. I could do with a bit of colour in my cheeks. Go on then, take the bloody call. Yeah, hello? Yeah, sorry mate, I got cut off. What's the news? Yeah? Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. My locker? No. Have you seen the FME? Yeah, he said I'm okay, I've just got a bruise here the size of a snooker ball. Area drugs, we're well impressed. Yeah, well we aim to please, don't we? Do you uh, fancy a quick drink? Yeah. Yeah, OK. See you down the pub. Oh, I didn't know you paid for a transfer, did you? Ah, why don't you tell us? Because if I hadn't have got it, you'd all have taken a mickey. Well, good on you, Mike. It's a smart move. Well done, mate. Cheers, Eddie. Nice one. Uh, it's just what he's always wanted. Twice the money for after work. Hey, hold on, Tone. I've put in for a transfer. I've got it. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I'm very happy for you. I'm over the moon, Mike. It's just a shame Sunil's not good enough for you. Is he jealous or what? Ah, uh, God knows. Look, the main thing is you got what you wanted, yeah? Yeah. You're going to be working in the West End, you're going to be guarding diplomats, you, you're going to have a great time. Good on it. Good Tell everyone your good news. Yeah, yeah, I did. Well, there you are, Mike. I've just heard. Uh, congratulations. Cheers, sir. Well done. Thanks a lot. So when are you going to start? Straight away. That soon? Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do without you. 